What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, really excited. I'm sure you guys have heard of Beauty at Tacos before. I had them for the very first time at a place in Minneapolis called Animales Barbecue. And then I saw the owner of Animales Barbecue. Theirs were flipping delicious, by the way. I saw the owner go to this other place. I literally have to read this from my phone called Taqueria y Birriria. Las Cuatro Milpas. Biriria. 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 <sighs> oh. So traditionally, a biria is like a braised meat, either lamb, beef, slow cooked in adobo, gets all these amazing, amazing juices out of the meat. They serve it in a taco that's dipped in the consomme, the like liquid from the cook, add cheese and then fry it and then fill it with the birria meat and typically some fresh herbs and some onion in this case. Then they also serve the consomme that they dip the tortilla in on the side for extra dipping. It's like one of the best things ever. So anyways, I saw that chef, his name is John. He is the owner of Animales Barbecue. He posted about this place and was like, weekly visit to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, weekly? If he loves it that much, then I absolutely need to go give it a try. And they don't just have birria tacos. They also have birria quesadilla, birria burrito. So I decided to get birria tacos and birria burrito. And I got, of course, a side of the consomme. I ordered it a few minutes ago. So I'm thinking it should be about ready now. So I'm going to go pick it up. Then we'll come back here and we eat. My hands are like turning colors. Not sure why I didn't wear gloves and below freezing temperatures. <laughs> okay. It smells so good, first of all. Early points. Right. All the beauty ab are in here. They gave me some salsa, some kind. They look. They give me two salsas. Got a green one. Tomatillo. Oh my gosh. They look amazing. And then I also got the burrito. I got one for Shane too. So, just have one of these burritos on standby. More salsa. Oh, they cut it in half for me. I like it. I like it. All right, can we just do like a reveal? What are we doing? Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're doing the tacos first though. We're doing the tacos first. And then I also got an agua fresca. I got coconut. They did not have paper straws. You know, I literally despise paper straws, but maybe I need to just get a metal straw to take with me. Like never use straws unless I'm in like this kind of a situation. Makes me feel like I'm not in Minnesota. And then we have the birria consomme. Oh my God. I need to show you guys the inside of this thing. Oh 
I know it looks like absolutely ridiculous. P.S. Was this like not the worst idea to do birria in the car <laughs> with consomme? Anyways, conveniently fits in the cup holder though. I'm glad they put it in that. All right, this is going to be extraordinarily messy, but whatever. Don't care. I'm going to squirt a little bit of this lime juice on first. Yum. God, this makes me want a margarita. So bad. All right, guys, just a real quick viewing of all of these bad boys together. I mean, how flippin' ridiculous. P.S. My birthday is coming up in like a couple weeks or so. And actually, it's three weeks? No, two weeks from tomorrow? It's February 10th. My birthday is February 10th, whenever the hell that is. And I totally asked Shane, I was like, you know, if you're looking for anything to get me for my birthday, I'd really love my car detailed. <laughs> There's just so much food in here. It's gross, guys. It really is. And I'm like long overdue anyways to get this thing clean. So I'm like, give mama a clean car for Christmas, birthday, whatever. All right. Oh. Cheers. Wish me luck. I'm not getting this everywhere. Mm. I love that sound. I'm gonna try some of these salsas. Oh. oh no. I've got stuff everywhere. I'm dipping it in both the red and the green salsa this time, and the beauty, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that is so good. Just a wee bit. A little bit of that red one. The red is super spicy and you can see all of the chili flakes inside of it. it looks aggressive. Mm. I love these tacos for so many reasons. I absolutely love that the shell is crispy. The cheese comes melted. Dipping the tortilla in the consomme first lets it soak up all that flavor. So the shell's just got more flavor than a regular taco. Also, I love braised meats. I love them. They're my favorite. Any kind of shredded beef, short rib, any of that, like shanks. Oh my gosh. I can't get enough. I absolutely love them. And then having just like the simple toppings, the cilantro, the onion, lime juice, like this is perfection. See the little like 
Look at that. I mean, pure sex. Pure friggin' sex. I feel like I have raw onion in the birria the last time I had them, but these are cooked a little bit and they're so good. A little sweet. And the consomme obviously just has like all of those amazing fatty, beefy flavors. Mm. Mm. And at the same time, the consomme makes it so light. Like, it feels light to eat. Mm. I am getting aggressive with that salsa. I don't know why you do tacos any other way. It's not necessarily true. I really love a good, like, traditional street taco. Just, like, really good corn tortilla. Or really good flour tortilla. I like both. Just, like, really good versions of either. I like tacos done pretty simply. Unless it's a cheesy gordita crunch from Taco Bell or homemade. Those are flippinbomb.com. I said I was only going to eat three of these and save two for Shane, but here we are. <laughs> so spicy. Holy crap. Juice is spreaded everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> it's all over my steering wheel. Like, somebody's got to really get in the, the nooks and crannies of this car. Oh. Oh, what is that? Starting to suffer a little bit. The caramelization that they got on the meat just adds so much flavor. Like, that's where flavor comes from, guys. The brown bits. I can't stand it. I'm gonna go get a cheeseburger, and the burger doesn't have any syrup on it. Any syrup? It tastes like it's boiled. Like, all right. There was one left. If I didn't mention it before, it was buy five and get free consomme. All right, I'm just gonna set that down for a hot second. Oh my god, it's <laughs> all over me, all over the car. I need like a splash guard in here. Like, what can I do? Give me some tips, please. I'm on like my seventh napkin now. I feel like this could be a real bad idea, but we're gonna try it. A lot of meat, a lot of meat. And that's usually like my kind of, uh, not so sure about this when I order burritos like if it's like all rice no i love that it came wrapped in this to catch anything underneath any of the juices 
This thing is like holding together by a thread. It looks like it's gonna fall apart. We're gonna try. We'll do the best we can. Maybe it's because I like showed it to you guys and tried taking it apart so many times. Maybe that's why. Let's check out what's all the meat. Literally. I feel like I need to move to the other side. I'm literally moving to the other side. Because <laughs> I took all the meat out in that one bite. I'm not sure what else I was supposed to do. It was all just kind of connected. And then I looked inside the rest of the burrito. And there was no other meat there, so. Do I have a fork? I need to retrieve literally all of the meat. All the meat just fell. In case you like didn't just see that. But now it's all like in the juices. So now maybe I, I don't even have to dip it. Of course I can't use this straw for anything anymore. I guess I wish that the meat was more pulled apart. On the inside, I'm just going to go ahead and do that now so that I don't take out like all of the meat in my next bite because it's pretty much all attached. It would have been helpful if it was a little bit more shredded up. This is juicy. I need floss desperately. Seriously, I guess that's a downside to braised meats. It is stuck in your teeth. why oh my god my hands are so slippery i don't know why i haven't been putting the salsas on this i feel like this flavor wise is a little bit more bland the burrito the tortilla itself looks great though i think that because there's so much like moisture in the meat that it's just not holding together as well it really needs to be eaten like right away, like in the store. Especially if you're planning on putting consomme on it. I wouldn't drizzle it in like I just did. I would just dip the end because, yeah. 
kind of not hold them together as well. This side's got a lot more meat. It was the first time I had the green, the tomatillo salsa by itself. And that one's spicy too. They're both spicy. I need a bath. I feel like I say that every time I'm in the car. Like, this is my fault. I am eating that last birria taco. Sorry, Shane. But first, I'm gonna have some agua fresca sans straw. Good thing I've got four napkins. God, can you imagine if they didn't give me any napkins? Do you have anything on my nose? No? It tastes like a pina colada. Really light, a little sweet, obviously super coconutty. They had tons of flavors. They also had a horchata, which was really tempting. I love horchata. Horchata is like a rice milk seasoned with cinnamon. Oh, I love it. The Lost Birria. Sounds like a movie. Oh, there goes some more. Oh. Oh. Red and green salsa. <clears throat> I have a death wish, I think, with the salsa situation. Almost got me. Oh my gosh. The birria tacos were just absolutely delicious. You know what really makes it is that crunch. You get the like unctuous, juicy meat and then the crunchy, consomme soaked taco shell and cheese. The meat in the taco looked like it had been on the flat top. Like they had taken the braised meat, put it on the flat top, got it all crispy and then put it in the taco or put it in the taco and then get it crispy whatever it was it had a lot of brown bits whereas in the burrito it didn't really have those bits so it didn't have as much flavor hundred thousand percent would come back for the tacos oh my gosh they were so good i probably wouldn't order the burrito again but i heard their quesadilla birria quesadilla was so so good. So I definitely want to try that the next time. The salsas were amazing though. I really liked them. They were 
definitely had a kick. And this area is really cute too. I'm still kind of exploring. I know I've lived here for three years now. I can't even believe that I've lived here for three years, but I feel like I'm still exploring all the little boroughs and neighborhoods. And this area has a lot of Mexican restaurants, supermercados, taquerias, etc. I feel like this is the nook. This is the nook that I need to come to for all of my Mexican fare from now on. Oh my God, they gave me a spoon. They sacrificed the straw for nothing. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I'm so grateful for you guys. You're just awesome. You just... Let me know what you thought about this video. Have you guys had birria tacos before? Had you had birria something else? Comment below. Let me know what you think about birria tacos. I feel like I need to make like homemade birria tacos too. That just seems like it needs to happen. And that it probably isn't that difficult either. Again, this place is called Tacoria y Birria Las Cuatro Milpas. Please, somebody tell me if I got that right, just pronunciation-wise. Definitely go give them a try if you're in the Minneapolis, St. Paul area. Whether you live here, you're visiting, their beauty tacos are... Comment below, what should I eat next in my car? And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.